and uh, lock it with nine goals at half time so Adelaide in tremendous trouble. Well, with the birth of the Adelaide Crows, the South Australian National Football League has taken on a, a new look competition this season with nine teams. And as in the AFL, it's the Eagles who are dominating. Now, the Eagles are a brand new team in Adelaide. They're a combination of the old Woodville and West Torrens Club. And as Max Stevens reports, their coach is somebody a lot of people will remember. The West Torrens Football Club and the Woodville Football Club joined forces this season and created the Eagles. After six rounds, the new side remains undefeated, sitting on top of the SA NFL ladder. After more than a decade with Norwood, coach Neil Baum took the helm at the Eagles in their debut year. Well, I can't lose, you see, because I, I live in Adelaide, I lived in Melbourne for a while and I come from Perth, so unless Sydney or Brisbane wins, so I'm in trouble. Yes, he played in Melbourne all right, and any football lover would remember him in the 70s as a tough customer with Richmond. Neil Baum is just what this new Adelaide club needed, a breath of fresh air. The Eagles here are doing very well. We struggled early, um, and we didn't do as well in any, anywhere near as well as we thought we would in the, in the Foundation Cup, but fortunately our form so far has been pretty good in the, in the real season. While the Eagles soar high in South Australia, Baum is also keeping a close eye on the Adelaide Crows. Uh, in a lot of ways it's good because we have got our local guys playing in you know, what we call, I suppose everyone calls the best competition without having to leave home, which is a good thing. Um, on the negative point of view, obviously club footy has suffered a little bit, we've suffered a bit crowd wise, but um, I think crowds are pretty well up to budget as we expected them to be, so uh, we're not going too badly. He believes the SANFL and the Crows have learnt a heap from what has happened in Western Australia. Anyone who knows anything about business knows that if you don't, if you don't look after that, the foundation of your business, the rest of it, it's not going to last at all. And in South Australia, I th think that's our advantage. And at least the two, the two organisations, the Crows and the SANFL, are virtually the same, and they're working to the same ends. Port Adelaide, North Adelaide, and Glenelg will again be a force in the SANFL. But this year, the Eagles may be the name on everyone's beak come September. Max Stevens for AFL Today.